one thing we have always struggled with is um, production. There's a lot of layers to that. For one, we're employing trauma victims. <laughs> so it is starting a business by employing unemployable people, <laughs> which uh, I didn't realize how challenging that. I never started a bus any kind of business and then starting a business with employing unemployable people is a whole new. A few whole, extra whole, challenges. A few extra challenges, <laughs> yes. And, and so always, you know, some people are very low functioning. Some, some are high, some are, some are, some are very good, but, and some had some experience in the garments f industry, um, but many of them are very low functioning and it's very difficult for them to produce at a good level for them or for us. There's also behavioral issues and mental health issues and, and family issues and all kinds of things. So, so we have that challenge. We also, you know, we're making something handmade that takes a long time to make. So yeah. the stand, the main product that we sell takes three days, and then we have some that take two and a half, three weeks. And so um, it, it's time consuming. And, and we also want the women to really be empowered and take ownership of what they're doing. So um, the way I, became interested in the training within industry technique. We were tr we were doing a pilot program with Rohingya refugees and a pilot program that was originally f focused on training Rohingya refugees to make a product. Okay. And so that, not not the not the TWI but just the training them in making that product. Well, we we were we have a training program where we train okay. around f up to 15 women in six months to make our products. And we were being offered a pilot program where they wanted us to train 3,000 women in one year. Oh, wow. So that's quite a bit of an increase. <laughs> yet another challenge. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, well, we train 15 women in a year. I don't know how we can train 3,000 in a year. <laughs> and, and so that's how I met. Scott and found out about training within industry techniques and so we did the pilot program which was to train 120 women in two months and so we used these techniques to our humble ability <laughs> and and it was successful they were producing a notebook cover that was it's you know they didn't have the com complete completed training that we mm -hmm. provide in six months and they didn't have a range of products but they were able to make a sellable product within one to two months and so that just and, really and prior to that would have been for that number months. of people six months yeah. okay <laughs> yeah and even then sometimes sometimes after a <clears throat> year we have to retrain them when yeah when they come from the training program sometimes we're after yeah we're starting over with their training so so that really made me a believer in it and thinking about how, yeah, how we could use it more to both to produce more and produce better, equip women who have other challenges, and um, also make sure that every that we have the quality control built into the production process. Yeah. And that and that time frame was that started the pilot program was November, December last year. Okay. Yeah. With the hundred and twenty women. With hundred and twenty women and, mm -hmm. and the the yeah. J I yeah, did. we did not go on to do the 3,000, even though it was successful, it was more a um, political issue <laughs> but um, and a funding problem, but yeah, it just made us eager to explore it more for our regular processes.